Alright guys, I'm in my little boat. The wind is howling out of the northeast 15 to 20. The tide is flooding up and I got my good friend Brian Ennis with me. And most people would say, what are you doing out in that little tiny boat? Well, we're gonna go shoot some marsh hams. Uh, I did it last year, it was one of my most popular videos and I hope we can, uh, we can put a good one together today. Little sporty out here today for the 14 foot skiff. I think it's gonna get real high today. Oh yeah, I think it's fixing to smash the bird. Y'all see that? The marsh is flooded up right now. And we're out here to shoot marsh hens. Uh, we get these flood tides and these strong northeast winds and it's perfect condition for marsh hen hunting. I have this bad uh, issue where I always think they're in the clump that I didn't go to. <laughs> I think you'll push them too, like where we're at right now, when we get up to that last little bit, there'll be a bunch of them, because you don't even see them and they, they're just moving, quietly moving away from you. There's a bunch right there. They're still in that clump. Up one to our left right here, Brian. See him in the yeah, I see him right here in the grass. Go ahead and stick him or try and get him up. Go ahead and stick him before they fly off. Uh, they got I figure you got one in the air for every yeah. everyone in the air. It's okay. And there's still four or five of them over there. Yeah, I'm trying. Good? Yeah, I got three. Okay. I right here. The ones to our right are flying. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see them. There you go. Oh, nice yeah. work, buddy. Shot, two birds, that ain't bad to start with. No. After, I mean, we've been out here over an hour. Yeah. Just from here, there's going to be some dead ground. Got him. Did you get the camera on? I did. Good. We'll see what the footage looks like. Oh, it's always on the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody. Oh, sure. Don't get me in. Don't do that. Nice bird right there. Here you go. That's a right there. Two marsh hens. That's what they look like, folks. These are uh, one of the funnest things to do in the marsh this time of year is marsh hen hunt. We're gonna reset on these birds. The wind is smoking so hard you can't pull into it right now. So we're gonna use the motor, go around, and we'll pull downwind again to them. Alright guys, so actual elapsed time has been over an hour. We hit a flat and it was tough, there was no birds. Then we just got on some and Brian shot two and some other birds moved off so we switched. Brian's on the stand now polling us and uh, we're going to 
try and get on the rest of these birds. But they are sneaky little devils, man. They'll go real low in the water and they will wake. They don't want to fly. They will sit in those grasses until they absolutely have to fly. And sometimes you do go ahead and water swat one. It just is what it is. We're out here to eat marsh hens, not to show off. They gotta be up in this All next. Right, we're to get on them, dude. This next patch here yep. is gonna be thick. I'm excited. I'm fixing, I'm fixing to get on some. Don't wear yourself out either if you want to just let the wind push us. Don't. Oh yeah, I'm just mainly kind of uh, using it as a rudder. Gotcha. Lay him down whenever you can see. Him. See him on the left. Two of them. Oh, I see that far one. Yep. Come on. Come on. Go. Slow me down. I got you. I got you. See him right here in the water. See him right here in the water. Two, two o'clock. Right by that red. Yep. Okay, here we go. I don't know what happened there. It's all right. Doesn't matter. Fix to kill him anyhow. Where'd he go? He sees straight out in front of us. Oh yeah. See him right there at one o'clock in the water. It's crazy. Today. Two o'clock, three o'clock in the water. Right here. There he is. Right here. Nice. Good shot, Ian. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My man. <laughs> That's super. Yes, sir. You got to get the first one in the air, and you water swat the second one as a consolation prize. <laughs> hey. Thanks. Nice work, bud. Thank good, you. Good job, dude. Good oh. job, Ian. We'll get our ow, we'll get our shells and pick our birds up with the motor because the wind is just too hard today. Is that camera rolling? Um, yeah, that, yeah, it's rolling. Here, I want to show them. We're going to go get our shells. When I made my last video, people lost their minds about not picking up the shells. And when we do pick up the shells, it's just boring. So it gets edited out of the videos, man. Picking shells up, folks. Got to do our part. It doesn't always happen on camera, but it always happens. Good job, man. Let me show them. Nice. That's a pretty marsh hen right there. Beautiful. Beautiful birds. Delicious, too. Real quick, I want to show you something, a little piece of equipment I'm using. A toadfish dry box they made for the boat. Makes a great little shell box. And what I'm doing is it just uses their suction cup suction cup right to the deck of the boat and i got easy access to more shells you guys see i had a gun jam right there and uh not sure what happened with that but uh i had a misfire and i missed some birds i had to get some more shells quick and uh that's where they were at i'm gonna put you right over here on them For sure. I uh there he is right off the bow. Yeah. I got him. So we got our five birds. We just set up to do a run through the same area of this marsh here where we just killed our birds. And We've got some stragglers to settle the score with. There's our five. We've had a couple mishaps, but we're doing alright. And um 
I'm gonna go ahead and push Brian through here and try to get on a couple more. A bird, kind of midway. That clump over y'all? Yeah. Here, show, show them that bird up close, man. Look how pretty the colors are on it. I like that stripedness. Sometimes they need just a quick, quick, painless death. And uh, they're beautiful birds. You know, the leg meat is actually my favorite part on them. Those legs are delicious. So I'm gonna hop back up. We're gonna try and get more. Oh, here we go. Well, we've ran out of tide at this point and we didn't have an epic day. I definitely had a better day, better days last year, but I only got to hunt once this year. And uh, we ended the day with six birds. Three each ain't bad at all. Um, we definitely could have had more, had a little bit of mishaps, you know, jammed guns, uh, but that's hunting, you know. Uh, big thank you to Brian Ennis. Um, like I said, he does some guiding around here and stuff, and I'll put that link in the description if you ever wanted to go with him or his phone number where you could get a hold of him and go and fish with him or next season go and do uh, marsh hen hunting. But uh, we're gonna take it to the house. We're gonna have some marsh hens for dinner. All right, guys, so I'm back home. Um, real quick, I was gonna show you what I'm shooting. This is just some 12 gauge, two and three quarter, seven and a half one ounce uh small game loads uh about the cheapest stuff you can buy um that's all you need you can shoot lead for marsh hens i know some people will try to tell me i'm wrong but look it up it's legal um so we use it i'm gonna show you how i clean these things uh we got it we do have them on ice uh i like to i'm gonna clean these birds up for you guys real quick uh, I think we ended up with six. Not bad. The limit is 15 in the state of Florida. So that would have been much better. But we'll take six. Brian had some in his freezer already. So he said I can keep them all. <laughs> what are those, Mullet? What is this? What do you think? Oh, boy. What is that? Dad's always got weird stuff for us. <laughs> so... We got our six marsh hens. Got me a little plastic bag. You need a garden hose with a sprayer to do my method. So what I do is, and this actually works better with a pair of shears, but I don't even have a pair of shears. Come in, I'm using my toadfish fillet knife. Take the head off. That goes in your gut bucket. Then you've got a headless bird. You got his neck. Take your garden hose, come around over here to your bucket, holding it like this, go ahead, and that water. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to do that. Did you watch my last video? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so what happens is the it's water. Like a water balloon. Exactly. So what happens is the water separates all the skin um, from the uh, meat and it makes it much easier to come in here and skin this bird out Rinse all the feathers off and you got yourself a marsh hen All right guys, um, it's a day later. We're about to eat these marsh hens for a little lunch um, What I've done is gone through and broke them all down into smaller into just breasts and legs I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick 
that's what a whole marshland looks like after you use that little water method works really good get the skin off but and you could fry them whole like that some people do i come in and break the connection of the leg bone and just get right in there with a good pair of kitchen shears same thing on this side try to find that socket and then get all your meat and those really are your good meat and come in and trim any of that little pin hairs off like that and i will trim little fatty pieces because if there is going to be an off flavor a lot of times it's going to be in your fat uh, so there's two legs and then for your breasts i just come up and a lot, so you can't pull it like how a dove or something like that. You can just pull that breast. It won't work. You'll rip it all apart. So you come in like this and just make a cut there and cut behind the ribs there. And then you've got your nice little breast meat with a little bit of wing meat there. You could save the neck and stuff for stock if you want. I don't have time today. Uh, so then I'm going to do a quick little marinade and I'm going to make daddle pepper fried marsh hens. Daddle peppers are the local pepper here in St. Augustine, St. John's County. Um, so I'm going to make a mar marinade with that in mind. I have some buttermilk. Go ahead and, I don't know, about a cup of buttermilk. And then I have daddle sauce. Now, <laughs> You're going to be like, Tug, that looks like ketchup. It's not. Harold's family makes the best homemade daddle sauce with our daddle peppers. And uh, we eat so much that it, it has a base of ketchup. So you just put it back in the ketchup bottle. So good bit of that. It's like, like a morning after Taco Bell. Um, and then <laughs> I have some beautiful daddle, daddle pepper vinegar and we'll just put a couple shakes of that in there as well um, the buttermilk and the vinegar will help break down the uh, the marsh hen just like you know chicken would be good fried like this like buttermilk fried chicken it smells really good do a little bit more daddle just so we make sure we got that flavor in there. Whisk that up. And then we're just gonna go in with all of our legs and breasts. And I'm going to let this marinade at least an hour. Um, not, not too long, um, but just get it in there and get that flavor in there. Then we're gonna fry it. I, some people have been asking why I don't fry things like, fish and stuff and if you look at my earlier videos from like a year ago I fried a lot of stuff well I'm trying to do new stuff for you where it's not just fried every single video trust me fried mm -hmm. is my favorite um, but I also have a lot of new viewers so I'm gonna redo some fried stuff what are you doing I am battering up these marsh chickens uh, <laughs> about an hour in the buttermilk mixture and then I have some house saw tree chicken fry Ooh, I love that one I haven't really tried I don't remember it's trying it one. but uh and then I'm just working through and rolling each piece in the fry and then I like this I like to let them sit for a little bit um while my grease heats up and I might run them through the chicken fry one more time just to make it extra crispy double batter so i guess you call that double batter but we got a little breast right there and um should be good i haven't done the daddle buttermilk i just made that up to this today and i was like it better be good because <laughs> you know hot sauce is always good so well how'd you make them last time i don't even remember i did um old bay you sprinkle them with Old Bay and then just flour mm. and fry them. Uh, but this is going to be Mo Betta. Mm -hmm. So I got my grease at a little above 350, probably 365. And we're just frying these things until, until 
they are golden brown and delicious. Tell me that don't look good. But see, all my pieces sat out. Um, so before they go in the grease, what I'm doing is I just roll them just real quick in that fry again, just to double coat it, shake it off, then put them in that grease like that. And uh, we're gonna have a feast here. Bianca's coming home. I'm gonna make her try one for y'all. Last time she told me she secretly didn't like them that much. <laughs> but she didn't tell me. So what you're looking for is when the pieces start to float up a little bit, that's how you know they're getting done. Um, just for y'all that might wonder how to tell if it's done. The other thing is these toadfish ultimate spatulas make great utensils for picking things up out of hot grease like that and moving them over. Um, I love mine. Link in the description. Toadfish, or no, I'm sorry, Tug Trash 15 will get you 15% off. Some things looking good, but Crystal just came up the stairs and her full winter YouTube do I look uh, ready? Hunting attire. Do I look ready for Kentucky? We're going to Kentucky to see my buddy Jerry and hunt deer and fish for specks or crappie, whatever y'all call them. It needed and, uh, to be warm. She needed to be warm. I bet she still complains about being <laughs> cold though. How did those look? It looked good. Very nice. I'm ready. Hey B. Try this. It's heavy. It's got a bone what in is it. it. It's chicken. Chicken wing. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. You gotta get some of the meat. That's good. It's yeah. Chicken. It's possum. It's not. It is. <laughs> it's a baby possum. It's not baby possum. Don't believe him. Ow! <laughs> mm. It's Martian. It's delicious. The, uh, that daddle buttermilk is really good. And it's like subtle in the background. But. Can I try it now? Yeah. Tell me what you think. Which ones am I eating? I don't know. I was eating the legs to try a breast. Are these the breasts? Yeah. You gotta kind of just bite it. Is it like chewy? Like just, a frog? It's just like, no, it's not chewy like a frog. Frogs are not chewy. Yes, they are. delicious. Don't talk bad about frogs. It's like a dark meat chicken. It does. It's good. <laughs> you don't gotta lie. No, I mean, I, I'm on my second one. Out of the two pieces, the, you got the breasts and you got the legs. And I think the legs are much better and less chewy than the breasts. A lot of people just breast those things out, throw everything else away, but a leg is delicious. You can taste the daddle. It's really good. The daddle and it's like subtle just in the background. Mm -hmm. mm. But. What is hot? We're going to finish eating. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, do your own research and go out and hunt some marsh hens. It's a blast. We'll see you on the next one.